The Journey from Tring to Durham Taking Dermestid Beetles on Public Transit This video shows and discusses insects that are involved in decomposition. This topic may not be for everyone. Alright, so this morning, very early morning, I am going to get on a train and go down to Tring and pick up my beetles. And then tomorrow morning, I'll put them up in their enclosures at the Botanic Gardens. I wanted to show you how I'm going to transport these, kind of what my setup is here. My carrier took this kind of a regular little reptile keeper that I found online, modified it, uh, put a little bit of that uh, a little bit coarser mesh inside. I took this and just kind of cut it down to size, bent the edges in a bit so it would fit inside, and put this aluminum foil tape around the edges so that it's not scratchy, and taped it inside so that it'll actually stay in. And then this should give it good ventilation, I'm hoping. That doesn't work so much, I've actually got some regular little cricket tubs that I ordered online as well that were going to be the first suggestion. To keep the beetles for a few hours, I'd keep them in the cricket tubs, but to get something with a little more ventilation, a little bit bigger size, uh, if they needed to stay overnight. They do need to stay overnight. <laughs> they need to stay with me for one night. I do actually have a slightly bigger enclosure as well, in case I need that. I'm going to talk to my contact up at Tring to see what they think about keeping them in this overnight, or if they need something bigger, and yeah, if they don't need the bigger one, I will just leave it unopened and I'll send it back. Alright, so this just kind of clips down, make sure the edges are clipped in. So the idea of what I'm going to do to transport this is just kind of my, my plan, my grand scheme here. Keep it inside this little lunch box. There's a bit of foil in there for a little bit of insulation because it's cold outside. Should be warm enough on the train, but it should help keep the beetles happy. And then I can zip it up as much as I need to while I'm on the train. But then I can also just kind of surreptitiously leave this open to ventilate and also keep an eye on the beetles, make sure the enclosures stay closed. The lunchbox also served as an extra layer of protection to help keep things sanitary while I carried the beetles on public transit. All of that good stuff, let them know escaping. So this is my plan for how I'm going to transport them on the train. One, two, three, Santa Claus in zone York, Redford, and London King's Cross. The next station will be Darlington. Here I am at the museum at Tring. This is the main entrance. I'm not going in this way. I'm going around the back uh, where they keep the beetles. I'm actually here a little bit early, so I'm gonna email Joe first and uh, I'll, I'll get those soon. So I can't film inside, so I will just, uh, tell you how it goes after. All right, so I've collected my beetles. I actually have a bit of time before I have to go back on the train. And so my friend at the museum here has encouraged me to actually go inside the museum itself and take a look at the galleries. And I think that's an excellent idea. So I'm gonna go ahead and just be a tourist for a little bit. I also want to be clear that I left my container of beetles in the lab in the back where all of the other beetles are kept to make sure that I wasn't taking any beetles with me into the taxidermy galleries. And I love these clouds behind me. Can you see this? <laughs> this is so cool. Oh, 
abroad and touch the star to meet groundbreaking scientists here in train. Let's take a look. Charles Harris. William Doherty. Alexander F. R. Wollaston. I'll have to look him up. Okay guys, I have the beetles. They're in here. Just waiting for a train to come. Then we'll go ahead with this plan to take them back to Durham.
Doncaster, York, Northampton, Darlington, Durham, Newcastle, Morpeth, Elmer, Berwick upon Tweed, and Edinburgh Wimbledon. You guys, I made it with the Beatles. <laughs> I am shattered, as they say here in Britain. I have been on trains and tubes and taxi rides for many hours, all day long. So it's been an adventure. Honestly, I'm glad I did it. To my, my friend who helped me with collecting my, my beetles today. Thank you so much. So excited to have these. When I put the beetles into their little enclosure, they seem more interested in burrowing into the cotton. That seemed to be their natural defense mechanism was to burrow down, <laughs> get further into the tank rather than to try and get out and they're just little things. So we did actually stick a little piece of meat in for the beetles to munch on so that they're getting some nourishment. They're happy that way. Now we're at the end of the journey. I want to show you the beetles. I am going to pull this out so that we can take a look at them so you can see them. All right, so here's the little lunch pail that we've been following all the way from Dream. So yeah, so there's the enclosure. It's a little bit of warning here. There's a little piece, that little piece of meat is a little bit bloody looking. Let's take a look here. How are these guys are doing? Oh, there we go. Yeah, there's beetles in there. Oh, they're active. Look, the adults are active. They're in good shape. They're happy. You can see some larva there. Oh, yeah, that's some great. That's some great things going on. And of course, I picked up a bit of frass. There's, there might be, you know, might have been some eggs in there. Sometimes it was just kind of attached to the little guys I was picking out. So that will all go into one of the tanks. Well, this is actually really cool just watching these guys. gonna spend one night in my flat because this is the best I can do <laughs> to get them straight from train up here to the botanic gardens they need they're not open it's late and yeah this <laughs> so I've decided that I'm going to keep them inside my bathroom area my thinking for this is that my kitchen is attached to my bedroom attached to my desk area so that's all kind of a small space and kind of open and yes, I could keep the beetles in that space, but I wanted as much as possible to keep them away from my food source, keep them away from my trash. So the idea is that they're not attracted to something else out in my space <laughs> where I, I don't want them to feel like they want to leave and go explore. I have a shower that closes, so I think after I clean up for the day, I'm going to just stick them in my shower. And if they do get out, my bathroom is a little bit easier place. If something does go wrong, not going to cause a problem with my housing. <laughs> I don't know, what whatever could possibly go wrong in, in a worst case scenario, uh, which isn't much. They should be fine. There's lots of precautions here, so they're not going to escape. Guys, I have finished using my shower. I've let things dry out. 
So now I'm going to close this up. The beetles are in there. And if anything goes wrong, things will be contained inside my shower space. I decided to pull the sides back a little bit to make sure it's ventilating. 